Greetings, everyone, to uh, to the second attempt at episode three. I hate the fact that I've got a wireless keyboard hooked up to my streaming PC. Uh, the result is that occasionally a key press might not go through, or the other thing that occasionally happens is that a key press goes through and never stops going through. Uh, either way, although I'm absolutely certain I hit the record key, Apparently, it wasn't being recorded. Uh, thankfully, we haven't actually progressed too many turns. I think it's something like 10 turns have passed, and a lot of that was spent gathering right here. So um, probably about 10 minutes of wasted footage there, or, or rather wasted not footage, as the case may be. But a few things have happened. We made it all the way to Theodore's tutorial, and the Herbis Herbalist Hut quest popped up. Now, the Herbalist Hut quest is the most significant event, mainly because it happened early, which is always good, but it's so close to the ZOD. Now, the Herbalist Hut is basically an NPC that we can go to, perform a quest for, in exchange for removing um, poison, which is, you know, quite important because it's a very nasty thing that doesn't, there aren't many other ways of getting rid of it, and also wounds. Now, wounds you can heal on your own, but if somebody is close to death, if the Herbalist Hut is close enough to where they are, you might be able to reach the Herbalist Hut in that turn and perform the quest needed to get rid of those wounds. Which is a big deal because it can literally be a lifesaver. So having the Herbalist Hut so close is fantastic. We did go up to Theodore's tutorial. We've done one of the quests and you can usually hit Theodore's tutorial three times. But we're leaving. And the main reason why we're leaving is because we ended up with a lot of granite, which is a much higher tier resource than we have got the means to gather right now. That is going to be amazing for building buildings. Um, building, building. Uh, we've also got, uh, you know, other odds and sods. We've been gathering uh, elven wood, which is why uh, we've passed a lot of turns, but not much time, just because we've been sat here just hitting the end turn button, uh, dealing with whatever might happen in on the uh, NPC turn. But uh, mostly we've just been gathering wood, and I'm thinking we're probably at a stage where it might be worth us leaving. I might gather once more, perhaps? Uh, I believe we've also picked up uh, another item. Yes, we, we got this from one of the battles. Now, other than that, we're fairly on, on, on the ball. In fact, this armor isn't too bad. Let me see. Is that, does anyone want this? Can anyone use this? I mean, this armor is much better for our warrior. Sure, you can have that. Quite a decent piece of kit, that. I like it. Um, let's check out our other people first. This is better armor, but you've got a little bit of shielding from that, and I kind of like the shielding. Uh, how about you? You've only got four armor, and what about you? Two armor. So you get the upgrade there. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, in terms of this weapon, a bit more damage, but you'd lack the shielding then, which is not something I'm, I'm eager to see happen. Um, yeah, it's lower damage. I mean, I wouldn't mind giving this to you and then getting you a shield. That would actually be pretty cool, but we'll have to see if we can come across a shield. So I'm going to pass another turn where we are, and then hopefully we can make a... I, <laughs> I'm going to constantly distract myself. I'm just going to put this out there now, forewarned is forearmed. I am constantly going to lose track of what I'm saying, or there's going to be a bit of a stutter, because I am glancing to the side to make sure that this one is recording. It pretty much happens every time a recording fails. I become ultra paranoid, and for the next like four or five recording sets, I'm constantly, compulsively checking to make sure the recording is still going through. Uh, we haven't gained any more um, research, by the way, but we have gained one level. And actually, I think it was a fairly decent level, though I forget what the... Uh, qualities of the level were, but I'm fairly certain that two people in Dapper Dell got the highest possible uh, return on a class-specific skill, so they didn't learn something, you know, really amazing for them, but uh, it was a decent, decent upgrade, uh, nevertheless. Now everything is going through here, nice and uh, smart-like. Uh, I am so tempted. So tempted, though. Elven wood is quite rare, often overlooked by gatherers, more durable than common wood. We could... I make this. Gives a crafting of three. What about regular iron? Only a crafting of two. I mean, it wouldn't be bad, but it does weigh a chunk. But using this gold to make a uh, set of crafting tools for an extra three craft would not be a bad idea. I really don't think it would be a bad idea. Sure, you can go ahead and, and start crafting there. How are we doing for food here? We're doing all right, actually. We're doing we're doing fine. You are more than welcome to just eat that. In fact. Well, we don't need the extra movement point. Once we've got something else, another food source coming in, 
I will unlock that because then we'll get a big bonus to our people in the town. And a plus four health is ridiculous once you get there. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pass another turn as well. Ultimately, I just want to get the tree choppers up to a point where, well, I guess 30 wood is actually good enough. Hmm. Yes, actually, you've got five more turns. Yeah, we're going to break cap here. Uh, right, now then, where would we like to go? I would like to make my way down here, and we can make a, a pretty good effort to get back to Dapper Dell in one go. Yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do that then. Let's get down here, turn 42, and we should be able to get the tree choppers into Dapper Dell. There we go. And you can rejoin, actually. Let's get everyone into Dapper Dell. There we go, 11 people all in all. Now we've got some new uh, new tools. Let's have a look around. Is this better than the one you've got? No, no, it is not. Uh, is anyone here in need of armor? Yes, you can take some armor. Uh, I could give you this, but you've got a pretty solid weapon there, actually. Uh, you would be able to wield this, and I see no reason not to because it'll give you a decent amount of shielding. So sure, you get a bit of an upgrade there then. As for you. Uh, I like the shielding on that. I do like the shielding. Uh, I like the shielding there as well. But that low quality damage. Hmm. Honestly, as a gatherer, you're n a gatherer is kind of iffy. Because it's neither a good warrior nor is it, is it typically a good social um, fighter. One of the chief things that they're good at is hunting quests. In which case, damage isn't an, isn't a, a condition, so it's it's a bit of a, a bit of a tricky one. That I'm not sure if I would rather go for that one or not. Here, though, ah, see blunt and poison. This is actually a really good weapon to give to someone who naturally does a lot of damage. For example, you do a lot of damage naturally. You do 39 damage. Strength translates directly into raw melee damage, much in the same way that dexterity translates directly into stealth. So if someone has got a lot of strength, you don't need to give them as strong of a weapon. Uh, let's have a look. You've got a set, well, the shielding there is nice. 19 damage here, and you're getting a goodly bit of that from this. Your shielding is something I really like, though. No, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna move that mace around. A bit of a shame because it would be good to see, but uh, we'll keep it where it is. Um, yeah, I don't think we're really gonna mess around with this too much. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna leave you with more shielding than anything else for now. I think that would be a better option, all things considered. Uh, in terms of the weapons, though, uh, that one's fairly. I'm gonna keep that one just because it's good quality. I am, however, going to dismantle this. We got a little bit of quartz in the bone, perhaps. That's fine. Food-wise, doing okay. Now, we've got a lot of good stuff here. So, let's go into production. The first thing we want to do, we want to make this. Can I make it? Yes, there we are. Now, to give you an idea of how this will affect things, let's just compare it to wood. So, with wood, and then just pop wood down there, we'll have an attract human of two, and we'll gain one meat per turn. You know, it's not too bad if we used elven wood. Doesn't change anything. You need about 50 elven wood or 50 gold to gain the effect of attract elf or attract um, dwarf. I don't think you need as much obsidian for attract goblin. I think it is 25. Most things are 25, but elves and dwarves, as you've seen with our dwarf, are stonkingly amazingly good and powerful. So you will always, always want them. Now, if I use extra wheat, we'll increase the attract human. But if I use granite, we increase the food significantly. And I do love the uh, the difference there in the uh, in the in the graphics. Now we'd get a lot of attract human and a lot of food. Now, for the time being, I'm going to say sure. We'll go with that. We've got no other options. But later on, if we do manage to get up to the point of attract dwarf or attract elf, I will rebuild this with just regular um, regular uh, fruit just to have attract human lower. I might even uh, use fruit instead of veggies to try and see if I can get attract human all the way down to two. Uh, sorry, to one. Just to, to maximize the overall attract other, um, other effect. Uh, wh whether it be elves, dwarves, goblins, beasts, what, what have you. Now then, I'm going to want this done. It's going to take 12 turns. It's an awful lot of time. Now down to 9 turns. Much better. Much more acceptable 
in my humble opinion. Uh, what do we got here? I could use herbs. I will not, however, use herbs for cooking. That is a really, really awful waste. An awful, awful waste. Don't do that. Uh, and the reason for that is that herbs can be used in um, medical um, checks. Now, you can build a building, eventually, that will let you perform medical checks. Uh, so, sorry, allow you to make herbs. And at that point, sure, you can start using herbs as a food source. But until then, I urge you, I firmly urge you, don't use that. Now, we could use monster bone and a bit of yarn. Get an armor of seven, it's not bad. If we use this, now, the thing with uh, gems, gems give random skill bonuses upon crafting weapons and armor. The rate of the gem increases the strength of the bonus. Now, Malachite, we don't know what random thing it would give. It's completely random. You could end up with a medic skill if you wanted. So, it, you know, it's sometimes worth doing it, but often you're sacrificing something for it. Um, we could do this if we wanted to. Uh, I could pop that down. We get attractiveness and dexterity. Attractiveness is quite useful for things such as uh, quests, uh, social quests. Um, and we could use bone, seven and one, eight and one. Ooh, now oh, that is quite attractive. A smith's apron. Still, the seven and one and a random item, a random property. Yeah, I like it. I like it. You can move, move your way down. In fact. Let's get you all working on this and you'll eventually drop down through there. It will take a while to get the construction finished this way. No, actually, I want the construction finished a little bit sooner. That one's a bit of a higher priority, I think. Right, okay, so it's coming up tonight. I'm thinking we may well just hang back here. Oh, of course, uh, I haven't gotten people out there gathered. There's no, there's actually no point in doing so because there's nothing they're going to be help, able to help with. But what I can do is I can have them just try and do a tiny bit of work. It'll take 292 turns to make because... Oh, bless you. Uh, but what it will also help with is that they're not going to... Uh, well, actually, it'll take 208 turns. Well, that, to make one? No, to make all of them, sure. Uh, it'll take... Uh, it'll just stop me getting this warning. Oh, well, the warning's gone now that there's someone... Uh, hasn't got a job also there are people who uh, also there are jobs that have no one working on them because that's ju it's just it fills up my screen with, with nonsense all right let's uh play this through got a little uh, group coming our way and there we go crafting hammer complete marvelous marvelous take five turns there we've only got six turns on the pasha we are going to just spend that time here though now i would like this to go to jason the equipment that is because Jason is probably going to be more commonly here th than away. So let's get this on you. In fact, the willpower isn't a bad one for you to have, given that. No, I, I think that's that's reasonable. Nine blunt and, and three poison. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty pretty solid. But as you can see, we gained a goodly chunk of research points there. Something I very much want to spend. Now, granite is its either there or there. It's, it's a resource, you know, a reasonable way down the chain. I would like to get to shields. Shields are a big thing for me. Once we've got shields, we'll then get swords. Alternatively, we can look for the herbalist hut. Now, the herbalist hut takes 25 primary material, uh, another 25 of another material, and uh, we could have elven wood. Because this would give us Elven Attraction. It would also actually make the Herbalist fairly good. Um, but we don't have the means to make it yet. If I went for this instead, I'd no longer have a good material, unfortunately. Gold is something I would want to use here uh, to try and get the, the smithy to have a track dwarf. I, I think maybe gold only requires 25 uh, then in that case. Still, not sure about that. Watchtower gives us a bit of extra range. The well will give us uh, just random items every turn, which is actually quite nice because it can be anything. Uh, so it's, it's quite a useful one. The cabbage field, from time to time, far from the expected vegetable, a baby is found amongst the cabbages. Ah, fear never change. Never, ever change. But we're going to go for shields, I think. Fairly easy to make them. Uh, they're not going to be great shields that we're going to be making, to be certain, but with shields, you can generally make them out of fairly 
easy to acquire materials. And because of that, shields are a great source of research points. For example, I can just make it out of wood. It's not going to be a good shield. But it'll give me... Oh, well, actually, this one will give me no research points. But uh, still, two armor, three shielding. And it's, it's a pretty, pretty bog-standard shield. It also weighs a lot. If I make it out of elven wood, suddenly getting a lot more. Because this is the first time I've seen this type of shield. I get a bit more than normal. If I use that, weight goes down even further. And uh, the dew drop shield, three armor, five shielding, five attractiveness. If I were to use something like um, metal instead, we could get a bit more weight to it. Four, five, two. Is that actually any better? Yeah, it's a little bit. We drop the attractiveness a bit. Um, we could go for amber over here. Three, five, three. Or malachite. 363. No, that's not bad. No, that's not bad at all, actually. But generally, I prefer to use something like uh, monster bone or leathers and furs to make my shields because they're generally a fairly easy resource to come by. Uh, that said, we can use monster bone over here. Three and five. It's a fairly cheap item to make then. We can take a 342. It's a little bit weighty, though. Not strictly something I would want. So 72 is probably the lightest shield I can make. And I would be using up a lot of my elven wood in order to make it. Not ideal. We'll drop this down there and we'll see what we can get out of this. Because that's a decent bit of, uh, bit of um, shielding, to be fair. Let's make a few of these. I want... Alright, we'll make three dewdrop shields. There we go. And we'll let everyone drop down there and continue helping. Once that's done, uh, I could make another crafting hammer if I wanted to, and I do. So let's get that on the go. Three crafting there, and we'll move this one up again, all the way to the top, and you can start work on that straight away, and then you'll drop down after a little bit. We've only got six turns left on the pasture, and that's going to be grand. Okay, gonna have a bit of a fight. This is gonna be a stupidly easy fight for us. Two deformed bat, one ravenous crow, two crazed bees. As I said, I'm not going to auto resolve. Largely because I actually enjoyed the card game. I think the card game's pretty fun. Player's turn. Okay. Okay, okay. We could get ox herd out straight away. But there are some crazed bees there. So instead. Oh, ox herd, how much shielding you got? You've not got much. Still, that trample effect would be great to have the front. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, Obsidian Mist down because Obsidian is gonna have some life leech. Oh, interesting. You didn't get that uh, attack out. I am actually quite interested in that. I could use Counter Tactic or even Counter Offense. Wouldn't be a bad move, really. I've got two cards I can place, so sure. Oxford down. Then. I'm going to take away one of the offensive cards. A crazed bee, gone. Nice. I like it. Okay, deformed bat down. Another deformed bat. That, that one's confused. Uh, let's get you in play. Sara, you'll go ahead of the deformed bat and wipe it out completely. And... Ooh. What happened there? I have no idea what happened there at all. I think that may have been maybe a bug because we killed the enemy. Either way, that was bizarre. I've not seen that happen before. Uh, we'll go for... Well, we can use counter tactic, honestly. <laughs> yeah, take away that crazy beast so I can't actually do any damage. Uh, we don't need to get anyone else in this fight, but I'll, I'll deploy at least my uh, main combatants. In fact, we've won this so hard. Between these two, they're going to completely wipe out everything else. Um... There's really no point, but I'll, I'll get you to go first just to make it funny. And get closer and get closer. You don't need to do this at all, but we might as well. There we go. This, this is a pretty pretty stacked in our favor, I would say. There we go. One ravenous crow gone. One deformed bat gone. A crazed bee gone. And then the other crazed bee gone. Kind of silly. I, as I said, I, I will tend not to skip those, even when it's quite obvious we're going to win. Handily. Wow. Thorny Warhammer. This giant masterpiece will surely be more than mere thorn in your side when it crashes its enemy's bones. Or, yeah, crashes. Oh, okay. Um, will be more than a thorn in my side? No, no. In their side. That's glorious. I like it a lot. Uh, right. Okay. Let's get that equipped on someone. 
right now. Uh, mm, it's better than what you've got by a good margin. It's heavy too. So it's probably going to be a weapon that only one of my uh, worries is going to be able to wield, I'm afraid. Mm. Yeah, it's already 220. Uh, actually, you could wield this because you're stupidly strong, but it's exactly the same. Uh, however, that weapon is less heavy. Yes, I like it. We're moving around. We're getting more poison on more of our people. I like that a lot. You do life leech and poison and blunt damage. That's actually a really potent combo. Stupidly potent. Uh, does anyone else want this weapon? No, I like you to have shielding. And um, you having shielding also is pretty nice. Uh, since you've already got a blunt weapon, yeah, you could afford to wield this one. You'd lose the poison damage, but I don't mind too much on that one, honestly. I think that's, uh, that's a reasonable exchange. Okay, good. Move on. Another Ooh. night falls over fear, and restless souls of the damned seek out the living in envy and anger. You can almost feel the approaching wave of these infernal wraiths seeking to burden your souls. But this night, a welcomed guest is seen in the shadows. A Lapiduk, the spirit catcher. Hooray! This bizarre looking creature, resembling an overgrown toad with long claws, yellow warts, and a row of razor sharp teeth, is actually a humble servant of Velez. In the old days, tasked with the hunting of wayward souls and misbehaved wraiths, but now, hopelessly overfed and ever busy with his task of devouring evil spirits. Why you'd ever chase it off, I have no idea, unless perhaps there's some sort of quest chain as a result of this, but uh, great, leave the creature to its task. Thanks to the Lapiduk, your people sleep well this night, and one wakes wow. with greater resolve. Kenneth has got a permanent will increase. That is absolutely awesome. And we got some more EXP. Very nice indeed. We're going to pass through the night. There's no point in us going out. It would only make things more dangerous for us. Uh, Obsidian Mist. Well, you know, we've got this spare hammer. I, I see no reason for you not to have it if you can wield it. Yep. No, just shy. Just shy. Uh, okay, well, you can easily wield it, so you're now going to be even better. 11 crafting is actually pretty impressive, I'll be honest. How long? Two more turns. Three more turns on the armor and then a bajillion turns on the shield, but that'll that'll go down quickly once we get there. There we go. We've made some Beagles, finally. And hopefully here we well are. Done. There we go. You have your very first building. Hooray! As you can see, it takes many resources to build a decent abode. Or perhaps your god gifted you, in which case you cheated. Oh, come on. Remember, the better the minerals you use, the better the bonuses from your buildings. You have a limit of 10 buildings, but you can demolish the old ones to make way for new. One of the ways to win over the darkness is for you to research more recipes, grow your population and build more houses. So get going. That is one of the things I love about Thea. There's so many different ways that you can win. You can win through the quests, which are uh, arguably the, the more difficult route. And there's multiple quests in that. You can win the game having completed everything you could possibly do, in which case your, your score is going to be huge. Or you can just go straight barrel down to one of the goals of winning. One of the goals of winning is simply to grow. Now, the idea there is that whilst you haven't uh, dispelled the darkness and it's still a looming problem, your colony, your settlement is now so well established, so powerful, the darkness, even if it were to return fully, would no longer be a risk to you. So you've got all the time you want to defeat the darkness, if you should ever want to, and there are some times when you might not. Uh, there's interesting quests towards the end of the Cosmic Tree quest that we can look into. There's also the uh, your deities quest, which is separate from it. There's so many things you can do in this game, and I love them all. Uh, we've got some silver. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And two research pots. Hooray! Okay, we've actually got a whole research point and a bunch of EXP. Now, everyone's in the one place now. Jason is more dexterous. Casey and Sarah are more healthy. Uh, oh, you did tell me how to pronounce the name. I am so sorry. It slipped out of my head. I will go back and read the comments later. I promise. Uh, Manu, I think you said. We could call it so. Manu. Manu and Russell are more willful. Oxford stronger, which also means can carry more and do more damage natively. Riftsung is more tactical, I like it. Obsidian Mist, more intelligent. 
Izzy has better animal kinship. That is a really good one for a hunter to get. And Sveal, uh, sorry, Swizzle and Kenneth, more health. Well done, you guys. I like it. And we've got new things to learn. Ah, oh, marvelous. However, at this point, we want something a little bit different. Um, I would like to get, we could either save up or we could go for some things like dried wood. Black wood that releases golden rares in one cut. Very rare, but items crafted from it are very high quality. Or dark wood. Now, dark wood is especially nice because it is poisonous. Uh, that being said, we could also learn to make jewelry. Now, making jewelry is pretty, pretty important. Uh, also, baked meals would allow us to use our grain. And at this stage... Uh, we've got the meat there, so we could go for baked meals. There was not much point in getting baked meals before. Uh, oh, actually, no. Oh, well, we could just make bread, I guess. Uh, you can't make... Uh, oh, fruit pies, I guess. Uh, all right, then. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm really tempted to get the herbalist hut. But I still don't think we have the materials at hand to make use of it yet. So instead, it's either going to be sword, baked goods, or get wolf pelts so that we can start making some better... I think we're going to go for fur leather. Yeah, let's grab you. Where's the nearest fur leather? Not that far away. Not that far away. And in fact, in that direction, we've also got herbs. We've got some, uh, we've got some meat as well. All right. I've got a little item down there. I would like to go back up to Theodore's tutorial at some point, but that's fine for now. We've got a bit of a fight over there. Someone doesn't have a job. Uh, oh, that's right, of course, because you have finished your constructions. That is fine. Let's get you over here, and you can very quickly work your way through all this. In fact, Obsidia, Mist, you can go down there and start making a bit more solid progress there, I think. Uh, that would be grand. But we are now going to be producing meat. Three of it per turn. That is grand. Uh, and we don't need to assign someone to that task. That is just something that's going to be happening on its own from now on. I can't build another passion. And I was one of the... Someone asked in the comments, what does realism mean? Realism means I can only have one building of each type in my village. So if I want to make a different pasture, I have to delete this. Uh, it's a bit questionable whether that's realistic, because honestly, in most hamlets, yeah, they had several pastures. Or, well, maybe one pasture, but several fields. So, so on and so forth. They, you know, basically they allowed... If, if they needed more animals, they just made room for more animals, basically. Uh, right. Uh, we could... No, we couldn't make another one of those. That's fine. Uh, okay, well, that's fairly solid. And there we go. Pasture has been built. And this turn, we may have gained some meat. Yep, there we go. Excellent. Pass one more turn. And, ooh. Our human attraction has already kicked in. We've got Bukwala. That's going to be changing. 11 strength. You're a warrior, human warrior. You've got some gathering, which is impressive. And you're doing poison and, and a lot of damage. What are you equipped with? Well, we've got a, a production of a new armor. We've got a decent amount of research there. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's uh, go and check out our newest warrior in the Dell. Uh, of course, no, that is not your name. In fact, it is Fitz. Welcome to the colony, Fitz. Uh, what kind of armor have you got? You've actually got a fairly decent armor. Uh, you've, you're currently wielding a massive axe. That is quite nice. I could give you this. You'd, you'd retain some poison damage, or you'd lose a lot of, of just overall clobbering damage, which I kind of like you having, I'll be honest with you. Uh, no. What about you? This is probably going to be equal. No, a little bit worse. Uh, really? Did that not get any, any special quality? Oh, I think it actually... Did it just randomly get more dexterity? That might have been the case, actually. Um, yeah, so in that case, let's swap that over. How about you? You've got better armor. Um, decent, but you tend to not come out with me. You, however, do. You're not going to be able to wield this, though. It's way too uh, heavy for you. However, Oxhead, sure, you can have that. How heavy is this? Only 20. So, sure. Okay, swapping that over. And you can have this armor. All right, not too bad. We've got a bit of an upgrade there. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, does anyone want that shield? You can absolutely have the shield if you would like. There you go. Nice. 
All right, let's have a look then. I think it's definitely time for us to start heading out. We could wipe out these layers, move our way down. Uh, we could head to the Divine Quest, but I'd sooner not. I would sooner go grab a bunch of Wolf Pelt. And then maybe head up to Theodore's Tutorial uh, Dungeon again. Let's open the game log, though. Uh, Things Awakened. What is it that we're doing right now? Herbal Attack Divine Quest. Um, people first then send them away. Let's know that's not the one I want. Thanks, they're all, all done. Defy, give one. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, this is fantastic! It actually kept the description. Oh, I didn't realize it did this. That's amazing. Here we are then. This is how that uh, the first round in the tutorial went down. You enter an underground complex that turns out to be some old, long forgotten dungeon. You're not sure what used to be, uh, to be the purpose of the dungeon, but they seem large. Explore. Inside, there are two main tunnels leading deeper into the complex. Go right or left. This dungeon is largely um, random. Going left every time will give you different things. Um, you take the right turn and go down a wide corridor with many doors on both sides. You try out one of the chambers and you see an imposing tombstone with two granite gargoyles on each side and some old candles spread at its feet. The candles suddenly light up. A bloodthirsty Striga rises from it. Someone attacks you. They were actually two Striga. I want that on the records because it was an epic fight and I won the challenge. You defeat the Strigas. You find some decent minerals and can salvage uh, from this room and that's how we got all of the granite. Uh, we also got a, a new... Um, uh, Dark Pendant, but there we are. Izzy and Oxford took a lot of damage in that fight, but Oxford didn't even get close to death because Oxford has got so much health, which was glorious, truly. Uh, do I want them to stay in the in here for a little bit longer? It's going to take us five turns to get all three Dewdrop shields done. I'm not actually against this idea. If I drop you down there, it's going to take seven turns, but we're going to get more of this done. Um, yeah, Jason, you, you hang out down there. Let's get a little bit more work done. I want those shields quite badly, actually. Uh, who isn't doing something? Ah, ah. Uh, uh, Fitz isn't working right now. I don't need you in there. Well, actually, there's definitely a part of me that's that's thinking maybe having you helping out is not going to help out too much there. But we'll go through. Got one dewdrop shield. Excellent. And that will also have pushed our research up a fair old chunk. Now, if I have a look at making more dewdrop shields, if we even can, uh, what was I making it out of? I was making it out of, uh, let me check, uh, Malachite. So, if I have a look at how much I'll get from these now, still 11, actually, wow. Okay, not bad. All right, let's have a look at you. Life Bleach. Wow, that is a rather awesome shield. That is truly an amazing shield, in fact. Uh, who would like this truly fantabulous shield? Uh, it is better in every way and gives you life leech. Has anyone already got some life leech? You don't have any life leech, but you've got poison, and I like that about it. So, yeah, you can have that. There we go. Now you can heal yourself in battle. How marvelous. Truly. Truly. Uh, we are generating a decent amount of food, no doubt. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and pass another turn. We're making two sets of Bigos each turn at the moment. And we're just going to pass a good number of turns here. There we go. Another Dewdrop Shield made. Let's go and have a look at what this one's got. Distraction. Okay. Not as great. Certainly. But uh, still not a bad option. Uh, let's get you set up. Do I care about losing the, the one stealth there? No. No, I don't. I think the shielding is more useful. Uh, who would like this shield for now that you can't equip it? Maybe you, you should keep it then for now. Yeah. Yeah, you keep that. Let's see. There we go. The nice thing about the dewdrop shields, they're very light. So, uh, quite useful in that regard. And, Thea ooh. is not an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Thea. Hooray! Um, I would actually like a new crafter. The kids studied a lot. Crafting will help us build a better future. Becoming an adult is an important rite of passage. The whole village celebrates this joyous occasion. The youngster places a food offering at the altars of their gods, in thanks and in hopes for a good future. I'm still looking over to the side to check that this thing is recording. Uh, fantastic! We have got Sabina. Welcome to the settlement, Sabina. Uh, right, let's get you set up then, shall we? 
Where are you, Sabina? There you are. Okay, what would I like to give you? I'll give you this. You're not one for much damage, but you have actually got life leech natively. My god. Uh, it seems that uh, Leanderly may have been the spawn of a Striga. May maybe a great great grandfather at some point. A Striga took, took particular close interest in its food and maybe even perhaps let itself fall in love and then d didn't finish the food off and just, you know, slipped away into the night can, can to, to live out the, the remainder of its eons, kind of pining over a love that could never be. But unbeknownst to that Striga, Liam Daly uh, was, uh, Liam Daly or maybe, um, was, uh, was the progeny. Uh, well done. Uh, there we go. We've got a little group there. It's not a threat at all. However, what we can now do is get you helping us to get... Oh, that one's already going to be done really close soon. Fantastic. Absolutely marvellous, in fact. Truly. Uh, okay. Well, I could set up another bunch of crafting tools. Hmm. I don't have that wood enough anymore. Uh, no, it's still giving me three. But it'd be a little bit heavier. How about new? How about we make... We got anything in... Nah, I'm not going to make anything like that, no. I could... See, if I use this, then I'm going to be dropping my food each turn. So I'm... I'm uh, my, my meat. I think we'll hold on to that for now. I'm not going to make any, any more. I'm just going to pass the one turn we need for that remaining shield. There, oh, a new research point. Wow. Okay, that is not bad at all. That is actually getting pretty nice. Pretty nice, I must say. We could go for the nimble wood, which is a pretty awesome uh, piece of kit for making um, gathering tools. Alternatively, and at this point, I think I could keep putting her off for a million years, but we're going to grab a herbalist hut. Confirm. Let's get you. Now, the herbling, herbalist hut, whether or not it produces a good amount of herbs, doesn't matter. The main thing that the herbalist hut does is that it allows you to train medics from that point on. As such, I'm just going to build one. It'll add a small amount of healing. Increases the efficiency of healing when food and burning material are stocked in the vi village. But it will give us the ability to train people. Uh, it won't produ produce m uh, much herbs. Um, or maybe it, maybe it will. Maybe it will just naturally produce herbs. But uh, I don't think it will just when make it just out of wood. So... Mm. We'll get it built, just so that we've got it there. All right, uh, Liam, Jason, you're going to hang out there, because we're going out. We're finally setting up a new expedition. It is time, everyone. This expedition shall be called... Hmm. Uh, Hunters, because it's pretty much what they're going out there for. Uh, as far as who we take... 19 damage, 27 damage and poison, 19 damage, a bit of gathering, 18 damage, a bit of gathering, but a huge amount of armor. Casey, you're coming along. Uh, Oxford, you're definitely coming along with us. Uh, having a chunky amount of, of damage dealing out there is useful, incredibly so. That 27 damage, though. Uh, Fitz are coming as well. Now, that's that's taken a lot of our our um, workers out of this. True. So, I might want to take less gatherers. Or just the best gatherers. Kenneth, you're coming along. Uh, regardless what your damage is. Seven. Eight. Um, maybe I could leave Obsidian Mist here. In fact, I think I will. And I will instead... Yeah, we'll take we'll take Russell. So we're, we're going out with a group of, of six. Now, for this group of six in particular, we want not too many. Ten turns worth of wood to start with. We don't need more than that. We'll get more on the way. Uh, however, we're going to want, let's say... Ten, yeah, as many as ten turns worth of food as well. Come on, there we go. There we are. That'll do. I think that's a, that's a decent amount for this group. Okay. Create the expedition. 
There we are. Let's get all of that sorted. Uh, actually, I should go in and check that shield. Uh, I should have done that before I sent anyone out, really. I'm just silly on my part. Oh, medic. Okay. Yes. We absolutely, positively must, in every way possible, take that with us. So let's uh, hand that over and quickly equip it. Who wants the medic shield? This is so incredibly important, it's, it's difficult to put it into words. Um, you can be our medic. Russell, you are going to be a medic gatherer. It's actually a much better shield for you as well, so sure. There you go. You now will slightly reduce. You've got a medic skill of one. But with that, there is a small chance that when you level up, you can increase your medic skill without even being a medic. But uh, that is going to let you reduce by 1% the chance of someone dying when they're at uh, near death. Which is pretty important. That 1% can make all the difference. Alright, okay. Time for us to start moving out then. Now if I use 3, I'd only move there. So we'll move up top. Ooh. How many wolves? Three wolves. We're probably able to take this on. And only because we're going to have a hunting challenge opportunity here. Why risk a frontal attack when we have good hunters with us? Go hunting. We've got three people with solid hunting here. There are three enemies. Um, No, we're going to go for the hunting challenge. You stake out the animals and prepare traps for the hunt. Get the hunting. It's going to be just as hard. There's going to be four hunting um, units because it's a two-skull hunt. Begin combat. Okay. All right. Opponent's turn. Let's see what kind of damage they do. Only four. That's not so bad. Um, that's poison. It's an eight, level eight. All right. I can place two cards down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get Izzy down. Now, the thing with Izzy, we can assume that all the hunting cards are going to have very similar stats. Izzy's shield will block that first attack, and that first attack will go to Izzy. It is nowhere else it can go. However, the next one down is going to be Kenneth. Izzy will be able to take that hunter out. If they decide to go in that direction. Kenneth definitely can. If Izzy manages to kill them, Kenneth will attack there. That one is going to be confused. That's fine by me. Let's drop... So I'm going to do three. Yeah, we should be easily able to win this. Easily able to win it. Uh, however, I am... Because you're not capable of killing too much, I'm going to give you a boost in your damage. Up to 12. And then the rest are just going to join in the fight. I very much doubt it's gonna gonna require them to ever actually fight, but that's fine. Okay, well you took that direction. At least we killed the first one that attacked. Okay, yeah, we've we've got this without uh, much in the way of damage. Russell did take a bit of damage, but again, it's a hunting quest, so it doesn't actually matter. You track down the prey and lead it right to the traps. Some of the pack could have gone away, but you got your win. Some meat. Uh, a new a new thorny warhammer is actually better than what I've got. No, it's really not. It's weighty, too. Mm. Still, I think... I think this group... Why they were carrying a warhammer, I don't know. Uh, but I think this group can easily carry that kind of... Yeah. <laughs> they can easily carry that kind of... Very well. Let's continue moving on. We've got a couple of places we can check out on our way down to the wolf pelt. And that will be fine by me. Uh, is everything going okay over in Dapadel? Let me just make sure that everyone has got their jobs assigned. We've got... Obsidian Mist, can you help out with the he herbalists, please? And then you can move on to helping with the Beagost, if you would be so kind. Uh, I am actually a little bit tempted to build that. Hmm. Tempting. Very, very tempting, actually. Uh, we have now got enough wolf pelts that we could, if twas our desire, and tis, hmm, eight armor, one dexterity, and a, and a random item. Sure. Actually then, in that case, hmm, Liam, you can go down there, and Jason, you can you can start up there. That'll, that'll work out a little bit better for me. Okay, I'm passing the turn now. Okay, one skull, fight with spiders. Ooh. What have I what have I missed? Who's not doing work? Ah, Ripsung. Sorry about that, Ripsung. 
crack on. Uh, actually, let me make sure that I'm setting that up the right way. Possibly not, because we are definitely using this every turn. Right, let's swap you guys around. That'll do a little bit better for me, I think. It'll still, still take you two turns, though. Hmm. Ah, that's fine, I think. Ultimately, it's okay. Right, let's get down here. We'll take this one out. Ooh. That's undead. Ah, don't like it too much. You stumble across okay. some ruins of an old city, engulfed in mist and mystery. Search, of course. You search the abandoned abodes and open some old dusty cellar. As the heavy doors crack, you are swarmed by some crazed bats. Oh no! Two arms! Four deformed bats and three hulking rats. Shouldn't be a problem for us. We might pick up a, a wound or two, but it's not a biggie. I've uh, got no... None of my... Uh, crush, oh my lord. 40 damage you do now? Uh, I can use counter-offense to just wipe up one of their cards straight away. Because they've got four cards they can place down straight away. That I don't like. But that being said... Honestly... I don't think we need to worry too much. We've got 12 protection there. You're, you're not going to... The two of you would take two full turns to break through that, that protection. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Uh, let's get you down. Now you can kill either of those in one go. And you can kill either of these in one go. Which is fine by me. May need to get you some shielding. Actually, I don't have any shielding to offer you, unfortunately. Uh... Very well, I could move you forward. Or I could confuse these cards as they come down. Hmm. Well. I... I haven't got confusion here. I could just remove a counter tactic card. Or I could, yeah, I'll just remove a, uh, an offensive card. That's fine. Don't really much care for that. It's not an issue. I could just play you for the sake of playing you, but uh, sure, yeah, let's get you down. There's no real no point, but uh, then I'll use this to confuse the rat so it doesn't get a turn. So they're not going to be able to hit Ox Herd no matter what. We've already done this battle. And no matter which direction that one attacked, it wasn't going to be able to get to a, sh a shield. And that was pretty much the best set um, setup of damage that we could get. Uh, nothing else got another turn, and we just walloped that. That was that was fairly easy. You search the buildings Ooh. and discover a supplies store still intact. Nice. Okay, we've got a got a lucky button. Gives plus two armor to who, whomever wears it, and we got some sense done as well. That's actually not too bad. Uh, take the stuff. Right, let's quickly get you equipped. Who would like the lucky button? Who's got the least armor? Twenty-two, eighteen as a warrior. That's not great. Twelve, eleven. Russell? Sure. I'll give you the lucky button. Make sure that you're reasonably well set up. Now, uh, a couple of people asked, could I just leave this on all the time for people to be able to see things? I can't leave it on all the time because it, it takes away my ability to see other information and also to command my units in quite the same way, but I will toggle it often. Now then, how many turns we got? How many undead? Three skeletons. Now, they could be difficult. A two... Skull skeleton battle might well be difficult for us to deal with. So, can you move? There we are. Why risk a frontal attack when we have good hunters with us? Um, yeah, there's, there's really no point. We're gonna get in there. It's only two hunting runs. This is we're we're painfully um, overmatched for them. You'll wipe them out in one turn. You might not. Uh, however. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, I'll just get you both down. You're going to do a little bit of damage, but actually you won't in any way, shape, or form do that. Uh, let's just get everyone into the into the fray. We've actually been doing quite well. Oxherd is, is carrying this... Well, I'm not going to say that, because honestly, Oxherd has not been as necessary. Definitely in the Striga battle, Oxherd was carrying the group. But outside of that... Oxford has just been ridiculously OP. Hasn't specifically carried anyone. Ooh. Ooh. Now that is a bloody good spear. That is a really good spear. Is there anyone who would like to switch to spears? Uh, that does nine damage. 
This does a little bit less damage, but it's piercing attack. Yeah. I'm not sure on that one. Nowhere near the same amount of damage. Um, you drop your shielding, but that piercing attack would be useful. It would mean even playing from the, the back deck, you'd be quite dangerous. Uh, yeah, Kenneth, you're going to get an upgrade. There you go. Right, at this point, I think I am going to bail from that particular encounter. Oh, great. Straight into another one. Goblin warriors. Oh, let's hope that they don't get the drop on us. Please don't move in. Okay, good. We can't let them stay there. That would be super, super bad. Goblin warriors are really strong. But if we get the drop on them... We can control the battle a little bit more. So, uh, yeah, in the next episode, let's find out if our six-man group with one dwarf is capable of taking on a three group of goblins. Honestly, it may be the death of someone, this one. So uh, I hope you're looking forward to finding out how that one goes. But until next time, and as always, do take care, friends.